Okay, so after I finished ironing the ends, this is what the ends turned out to be. They were not frayed anymore. Some of them still look a little frayed. It's because I had to split the hair. And now I split the hair according, like, I did this section and then I split it into top piece, bottom piece. And then I went from there. As you can see, the top pieces are already trying to curl without much effort. So they're going to be, like, super curly by the time I finish this. them all separated and yeah so this is the finished product of the ironing or not ironing but the straightening it's very straight down not as fluffy or things so if you have a very frizzy wig um, just as long as it's heat resistant straighten it if it's not heat resistant you can try it out because some people actually say their wig is not heat resistant but I can handle a little bit of heat now I'm not saying it's like go straight out for the ends. Now um what I did, not on this wig but on the other wigs, is I went back here to the back where it'd be against the neck, you know, underneath hair, and I took a little bit piece and I tried the heat, and it crinkled it, so I knew that wig wasn't able to work. It's actually my short red one. Um, for my blonde one, I did the same thing because the woman said that it was heat resistant, but it was also on eBay and. I asked her that, you know, I was looking for a heat resistant bit wig and was her wig heat resistant, so I kind of had a feeling like she just said it. So I tried it and um, it turned out that it was because I did the back piece and everything and it happened. Um, my friend Ashley said that uh, her red and black wig, which on the package says it is not heat resistant, she could do the heat on it, you know, just a little bit of heat. So as long as you um, test it first and make sure, you should be fine. So, um, yep, but that's all I did was straighten it, and now I want it curly again, so I'm going to have to curl it. And if these things don't work, um, th those little uh, curlers things, I'm going to try an actual curling iron. And I know the curling iron will work, but I don't know if I, like, sit here. Because last time I did I didn't section it off. I just did it all, like, as one, like, you know, rolled it up, and that's it. So I'm going to try sectioning it off next. Um, if this doesn't work, then I'm going to redo everything and go back to uh, curling iron which I know does work it just takes a while and it only lasted a day last time I did it so I'm gonna try it this way and if it doesn't work then I'll do the wig like this where I have top and bottom pieces all separated and I'll try curling with the curling iron and you guys will be documenting all this so yeah because like I tried finding a good person who's like not just like one of those high up wig people are like oh yeah yeah you just take your wig and you flip it over and then you just curl it and I'm like what? <laughs> so this is for people who are beginners like me learning out and um, if you don't want to experiment yourself on a good wig because this wig was $40 so I'm trying to make sure I don't ruin it in any way possible if nothing else I'll just have a long straight wig <laughs> but um anyway uh, this is you know I'm, I want to make a good video tutorial but I'm not exactly good at tutorials so I'm just giving you a step by step of what I did for my wig and how it comes out. Now I'm not saying it's going to be perfect when it comes out because I don't know yet. We'll have to see. But um, nothing else, I or bleh, whenever I hit the last one uploaded I'll have a little thing in the description like the wig looks great or the wig doesn't look great. You know you can try this and see if it works on your wig or you can see where I went wrong. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!